Hello there and welcome to Mr. Ace Math. This lesson is on the order of operations. Some stuff you should know before you begin watching this lesson are the rules for operations with integers, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, and exponents. So make sure you know those and let's get started. So what exactly is the order of operations? Well, you've probably heard of it before, but you've probably heard it as this word that you refer to as PEMDAS. And each of these letters stands for something. But the order of operations, or PEMDAS, is the order followed to simplify numeric expressions. And when it comes to the order of operations, there's a big mistake that students make. And what happens is, because they see that there are six letters, one, two, three, four, five, six, students tend to think that there are six steps in the order of operations. But that is totally wrong. Actually, the order of operations only has four steps. And here's what those four steps are. Step one is the letter P, which stands for parentheses. And those parentheses look like this. Sometimes you'll see them as brackets. And that normally happens when you have one set of parentheses and another set of parentheses. And when that happens, you work from the inside parentheses towards the outside. The second step in the order of operations is shown by the letter E, which stands for exponents. So when you have something like this, you read it as 7 to the third. That 3 is the exponent. So anytime you see an exponent in an expression, that's the second thing to get done after parentheses. Here's another example. 5 to the second power. Here, the base is 5, and the exponent is 2. That's telling us we're going to have to multiply 5 times 5. Here's where it starts to get tricky. Step number three is actually two letters together. And that's MD, which stands for multiplication or division. When I write it, I also like to put this arrow because step three is done from left to right. Whichever comes first. This means that if you have an expression where you have multiplication and division, if you see multiplication first, then you do the multiplication first. If you see division first from left to right, then you do division first. Whichever comes first is the operation you do first from left to right. And step four. Step four is kind of like step three. It's also shown using two letters, which are A and S, which stand for addition or subtraction. I also like to draw an arrow here because like step three, this is done from left to right, whichever comes first. This means that if you have an expression with addition and subtraction, if you see addition first from left to right, then you do addition first. If you see subtraction first, then you do subtraction first. Whichever one you see first going from left to right in the expression is what you do first. Now. Let's get to our first example. Here we have the expression 4 plus 9 plus 5 minus 2 to the fourth. Let's start from the very top, the letter P, which stands for parentheses. Do you see any parentheses here? Absolutely. Inside parentheses, we have 4 plus 9, which equals 13. So I'll write that right under here. Now, are there any other parentheses? Nope. So at this point, I'll just bring down everything that I haven't used yet. That means I'll bring down the plus sign, the five, the minus sign, and the two to the fourth. This is the new expression we're looking at. Are there any parentheses? Nope, which means we're done with that. Step two is E for exponents. Do you see any exponents in this expression? 
right here because this is 2 to the 4th. And remember what this means. 2 to the 4th means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And we can multiply this here. That's also 4. And when I multiply 4 times 4, I get 16. And that means 2 to the 4th is equal to 16. So I'll put that right under here. Do you see any other exponents in this expression? Nope. So that means I'll just bring everything else down. I'll bring down the 13, the plus sign, the 5, and the minus sign. Since we have no more exponents, we're done with step 2. Now we'll go to step 3, which is multiplication or division from left to right. Do you see any multiplication or division to do here? Nope. So we're done with step 3. We didn't even have to use it. And now we'll go to step 4, which is adding or subtracting from left to right. Which means we'll start at the left side here and read across and do any addition or subtraction we see. 13 plus 5 is 18. So I'll put 18 right under these numbers. I'll bring down the minus sign and the 16. Now the only thing left is 18 minus 16, which equals 2. So I'll put that right under here. And since there's no more addition or subtraction, we're done with step 4, and we're done with the problem. And our final answer is 2. Here's our second example. We've got 2 to the 3rd times 4 plus 5 minus 6 divided by 2. Let's start with step 1. Do you see any parentheses in this expression? Nope. So we'll check that right off. Now we'll go to step 2, which is e for exponents. Do you see any exponents here? Yep. 2 to the 3rd has an exponent. So what exactly does that mean? 2 to the 3rd means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And then I'll bring down the times 2, and then just do this. 4 times 2, which equals 8. This means that 2 to the 3rd equals 8. So I'll put that under here, and then I'll bring down everything else. I'll bring down the times, the 4, plus 5, minus 6, divided by, and 2. Since there's no other exponents, we're done with step 2. Now we'll go to step 3, which is multiply or divide from left to right. And remember, that means we're starting over here, and any multiplication or division we see will do. So here we have 8 times 4, which is equal to 32. So I'll put that right under. We also have 6 divided by 2. And that is equal to 3. So I'll put that right under here. Now we're only bringing down whatever we haven't used. We haven't used the plus sign. We haven't used the 5. And we haven't used the minus sign. This is our new expression that we're working with. And since there's no multiplication or division, we are done with step 3. That takes us to step 4, which is addition or subtraction from left to right. That means we'll do 32 plus 5 first. 32 plus 5 is equal to 37. So I'll put 37 right under these numbers. I'll bring down the minus sign and the 3. And 37 minus 3 equals 34. So I'll put that right underneath, which means we're done with step 4. And our final answer is 34. 
So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. Hit the pause button and try these questions. Then when you're done, click play to reveal the answers. Ready, set, go. Number one is 344. Number two is negative 34. Number three is 473. Number four is negative 87. Number five is positive nine. And number six is 0 0.5 properly read as five tenths. I know that last one was a little bit tricky because it involves working with decimals, but as long as you work neatly and follow the order of operations, you'll get the right answer every time. So let's reflect on what we learned today. The sequence of operations performed is called the order of operations. The acronym used to remember the order of operations is PEMDAS. How many steps are there in the order of operations? There are four steps. Be careful. Some students think there are six because there are six letters in PEMDAS. The first step is to perform all operations in Parentheses. The second step of the order of operations is to simplify any exponents. That's what the letter E in PEMDAS stands for. The third step of the order of operations is complete any multiplication or division. This step is performed from left to right, true or false. Multiplication will always come before division. That is absolutely false. Remember, you do whichever operation comes first from left to right. If you see multiplication first, you do multiplication first. And if you see division first, you do division first. The fourth step of the order of operations is addition or subtraction. This step is also performed from left to right. True or false. Subtraction can be done first if it is first from left to right. That is absolutely true. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Questions? Comments? Leave them down below. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.